got my two babies right here. <laughs> <laughs> I've got Scarlett and Baby Nyer. Woo! Good morning. This is the first vlog since. I got the. Oh, I forgot your water. I got my water. This is the first time that I'm vlogging since we shared the news that we are pregnant. We are expecting baby number two and our IVF transfer was successful. And I'm like, you can't tell, I'm like having trouble breathing right now and I'm like shaking. I'm really nervous because we are heading to our first ultrasound right now. I haven't been nervous, but this morning I woke up and I'm just having like extreme anxiety and I, I don't know, I'm just like shaking. Like I cannot stop shaking. I think I'm just super super nervous we are parked outside the gas station right now he's getting me a water because i've took water for the ultrasound and um yeah our ultrasound's in less than an hour so we're making the drive up there you gotta drink extra water for the twins so, oh my gosh okay so he's still stuck on the fact that he thinks we're having twins it's true <laughs> she's starting to believe it too Okay, the only reason I said that is because I was looking on our post-transfer paperwork today and it said that if we get a positive pregnancy test, they want to see us for an ultrasound 16 to 18 days after the pregnancy test. Mm -hmm. And today's day 11 and they wanted to see us today. They said today or tomorrow. So they're seeing us way earlier than what our paperwork says is like standard. <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. I wasn't really concerned about there being multiples until like I read that and now I'm kind of like, ooh, why do they want to see us so early? Like I know our HCG rose pretty quickly. You're just nervous in general. Yeah, that, I don't think that's like why I'm actually nervous. I think I'm just nervous because it's the first ultrasound mm -hmm. and I think any pregnant um, woman feels the same way. Uh, I feel like it hits a little different when you've gone through IVF um, and infertility, but either way, the first ultrasound is yeah, always- Yeah, because it's like, you don't want there to be anything wrong because it's yeah yeah so i mean no nobody wants anything to be wrong but it's like if you're like just getting naturally pregnant easy it's like i don't know i don't know you I know also what i'm saying feel like it's so early like i don't even think i'm six weeks yet so yeah. i don't even know what we'll see but they obviously know what they're doing we're gonna see two babies Stop. <laughs> guess we'll find Have out you said the gender yet no, we're gonna announce the gender soon. I think we're gonna. I want to. Oh, film that's right. Yeah, we're doing that. Yeah. Wednesday. I well, we're not announcing Wednesday, but I have like I want to film like this video thing. Like I have an, I have a whole idea in my head. So I think Wednesday we're gonna film the gender as long as like everything works out um, and nothing comes up Wednesday night. Otherwise, we'll do it Thursday or something because Tiffany and Chris are coming to town. Mm -hmm. um, they fly in today. Mm -hmm. I talked to her this morning. Our Sweet. friends, yeah, the Beastons, are coming to town, so I don't know um, what our evenings are going to look like. But one of the days this week, we're going to go out to the desert and film this video that I'm planning on filming for our gender reveal, and then we'll share it shortly after that. But yeah, that is what is going on right now. We're going to the ultrasound. I don't think I can really film in there. They're pretty strict on... Camera's like shaking. They're pretty strict on all, on all of that, but maybe I'll be able to get some iPhone footage. Overall, I'm feeling really good. I like am not sick. I don't have nausea. Like I feel great. I feel pretty normal, except I'm pretty hungry. And no, am I having any other symptoms? I don't think I am. I'm super bloated at the end of the night. You haven't, you haven't even been cranky. I haven't even been cranky. You got an excuse. <laughs> I've been like feeling wonderful, which I'm very grateful. I think I'm one of those people who just doesn't get sick no matter what, which is very rare, but I was not sick with Scarlett. I felt great with Scarlett. I loved being pregnant with Scarlett. So or some women like I'm sick right stays. off the bat. Yeah, like from day one. Yeah. I'm hoping it stays this way, but yeah, feeling really good and not a whole lot of symptoms happening, which also kind of scares me. I've like talked to Ty about this. I'm like, why am I not feeling sick? Like, why do I not feel these things? But I just keep telling myself I didn't feel this way with Scarlett either. So we should be yeah. okay. <laughs> we will talk to you guys after the ultrasound. We just got into the room. So we're gonna see our baby. He's like so freaking out still. She's like shaking. I'm actually like, I mean, I'm freaking out inside, but... I, like, can't breathe. I'm like... <sighs> yeah. I love you. I love you too. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. 
We've got this nice little screen up here that we can see. They're doing a vaginal ultrasound, so we did that. <laughs> but I think it's too early to see on the stomach. One baby. Yeah. <laughs> One baby. Um, That's I perfect. <laughs> um, I really thought it was twin. Yeah, nope, just one. And so I didn't realize that, that this ultrasound was to check for placement of the baby, like to make sure that the baby wasn't in the fallopian tube. Yeah, wasn't like didn't implant the tubes, you know, implanted in the right spot. And they did. Um, our doctor said they are right where they should be. And we have to come back in for another ultrasound next week to check for viability. So we didn't see a heartbeat today or anything, which I was wondering if we would, because it's so early. Yeah, it's pretty early. But I also don't even think he was checking for that. Like, it was so fast. It was so yeah, fast. It was like, yeah, really fast. So I am officially five weeks and five days pregnant. So very, very, very early. Um, but we've known we are pregnant for like, what, three weeks now at this point? So, yeah. Everything's great, and I have a sense of relief that, I, I don't know, like part of me has a sense of relief that the baby's where it should be, but another part of me is like, I wish we would have seen the heartbeat, but it's, I don't even think you cut this early. It's way too early. I'm grateful that this is, you know, it, things are going along exactly how they should be. Also, we got news that we get to stop progesterone and estrogen on April 26th, which is like still, what, six weeks away. It's a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, April 26th. April 26th, yeah. Um, so I actually need to place an order today with my pharmacy to order more progesterone because we're almost out. We opened our last vial today. So we'll still be doing injections every day in the morning until April 26th, and then we'll be completely done with estrogen, completely done with progesterone injections. Um, and also, the other good news is we have one more appointment with our fertility clinic so our ultrasound next week and then we transition to our normal OB which is really nice because number one she's closer much closer to us and number two like I don't know part of me is like this is bittersweet I cannot believe like we're already in this phase of transitioning to our OB yeah. that's crazy so I need to make a phone call today and get an appointment on the books, he said, because usually they won't schedule for like four or five weeks out. So I'm going to call my OB who I was seeing prior to my fertility clinic and get an appointment there. And yeah, I'm like, I don't know. It's so small. Let me show you guys. There's the gestational sac. You can see that little white. The sun's kind of bright. Let me get in the shade. white dot right there is the baby. There you go. You can kind of see it there. The camera's not really picking it up. It's not like the best picture, but that's where the baby's at. Officially five weeks and five days. Ty is running an errand quickly. I'm going to sit here and make a phone call to my specialty pharmacy to order more progesterone because we are almost out. Um, also, I don't think I mentioned where Scarlett is. She's at this call may be she stayed the night at um, Ty's dad's house last night and like so we could go to this appointment so um, we have to go pick her up after this <laughs> that's what we're going to do Track, she's currently on spring break this week outcomes. and next week to leave a voicemail press two otherwise we will be with you shortly continue call me back we can call you back at literally everybody's busy I tried calling my OB they wanted me to call them back and then the pharmacy wants me to call them back too that's the baby it's that big. It's that big. So that little white dot inside is the baby. See that big circle? Yeah. So that, do you see the tiny white dot inside? Yeah. That's the baby. Oh. It's so tiny. It is? Yeah. I feel like we've been in the car all morning. For real. <laughs> but it's because we have. Um, it's almost lunchtime. It's like 1130 right now. And we just picked up Scarlett from Ty's parents' house. And now we're finally heading home. We just got home and here's a little progression of baby Nyer. This is when we did our embryo transfer. So that little white dot is the air bubble that had the embryo in it. And here we are, um, like what? Four weeks later, three weeks later, three weeks later. So I can't wait until we have an ultrasound 
that actually looks like a baby <laughs> that we can compare it to. But that is the cutest little white dot I've ever, ever seen. Charlotte's still in the swimsuit from grandma's house. She was swimming over there. We're gonna eat some lunch. Oh, also, this is what I recently bought for, um, like to use on my stomach so I can do my best to prevent stretch marks. I started really early with Scarlett when I was pregnant with her and used, um, I don't remember what it was, but I'm gonna give this a shot. I was looking for something pretty clean and I liked the ingredients of this, so. But I got this on Amazon. It's the Honest Rock the Bump Body Butter. Like, I don't care if I get stretch marks. I was more concerned about it my first pregnancy. I really am not too worried about it this time. I think it just, it is what it is. There's nothing against stretch marks, but I do try to take care of my body the best way that I can. And so if I can try and prevent it with some of this, I'm definitely going to do so. So um, yeah, I'm going to give that a shot and I will report back and let you guys know. I didn't get stretch marks with Scarlett and I was very on top of like moisturizing my belly. I should rephrase that. I didn't get stretch marks on my stomach. I did on my breasts, my boobs, and then I did on my like thighs, but um, they are like very light, but they're definitely there. So we're gonna see if this works. Let me know if you guys have tried this before. Can you believe this is your baby? Does that look like a baby? I've got my two babies right here. <laughs> I've got Scarlett and baby Nyer. So they're gonna be almost exactly six years apart. Yeah, yeah. He won't be the youngest when we play Star anymore. Um, so yeah, I guess our due date is technically November 2nd. Scarlett came two weeks early, so we'll see if that actually happens. But um, yeah, November 2nd, and so Scarlett's birthday is December 7th. Oh, <laughs> think about that. I can't wait to call grandma. Your phone? Yeah. Okay, she has my old phone. She uses to FaceTime my family. But yeah, due date, November 2nd. Scarlett's birthday is December 7th, and so- no, my birthday is December 7th, 2016. Yes, so they're gonna be exactly six years apart, like almost exactly, which yeah, six years apart. <laughs> I think is gonna be really special. Okay, new symptom that I haven't shared yet. My back is hurting, but it's not my lower back. It's my upper back, which is odd, but I think it's because my boobs are getting so big so fast. I honestly, like that's the only thing I can think of, but my back is definitely starting to bother me, um, like right in the center to upper. I don't know. Let me know if that happened to you guys too. Like, does this, I'm assuming this is pregnancy related and not from working out, but um, I am gonna go ahead and end today's video now and keep this short and sweet. I'm gonna be vlogging a lot this week, so stay tuned for that. I'm really excited that everything is going good with the baby. Every little moment like this is a huge win for us, so we're really, really grateful, really excited. Everything's moving along and hopefully we get to see a heartbeat next week. The day this video goes live, there's also gonna be a new podcast episode out too where we go into more detail about how we found out we are pregnant. We share like thoughts that we haven't shared yet. We share um, just like a few other things that have came up in regards to like us like announcing that we are pregnant. Um, it's a pretty good episode. So, so that goes live today. Um, it should be live when this video is live. So I'll leave a link to our podcast down below where Ty and I talk about it all. Anyways, thanks again for coming along with us for our ultrasound and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.